Hey, Joe Lockhart, I'm just going to get you to weigh in right off the bat to everything that you just heard uh, from the top of the show, all those details. Well, it's, it's troubling and sad, but I think the word inevitable is probably the most powerful word uh, to describe it. What's been going on since uh, the Trump administration, and I, I lay much of this at former President Trump, uh, radicalizing politics, normalizing behavior uh, that's outside the realm of normal political discourse, and then acts like this. And, you know, I'll say, and I said loudly when Congressman Steve Scalise was shot, what a tragedy that was. And, you know, and I think I was joined by every Democrat I heard. We still have a sizable portion of the Republican Party who are saying that this didn't happen or it happened in a way and there's it's a false flag operation, just like they say the election didn't happen. And there's not a lot of leaders in the Republican Party willing to stand up to them because they haven't been willing to stand up to Donald Trump. Uh, and this stuff is going to continue to happen unless some Republican leaders stand up and say this this just can't happen in our party. So, Paris, I'm going to get you to, to uh, jump in here as well, because there's, there are a couple of things that I think should be addressed. Um, for starters, Donald Trump Jr. Uh, tweeted out, actually, he retweeted something that was sent out, and this is what it said. Got my Paul Pelosi Halloween costume ready, to which Don Jr. then added, the Internet remains undefeated. And the New York Times did an analysis of the number of, um, of times that Donald Trump referenced Speaker Pelosi in derogatory terms, and it was 800 um, times. And then Carrie Lake, who has been endorsed by Donald Trump, uh, running, you know, in Arizona, said, uh, made a joke at Pelosi's expense today at a campaign event and got a big laugh. So with all of that, um, you know, Joe Lockhart just said that this has sort of all been ginning up since the Donald Trump administration. I know you were in the administration, and I wonder how you respond to the fact that there is a lot of criticism that Donald Trump paved the way for this kind of dangerous rhetoric, and now the results of, of the dangerous rhetoric, actual, you know, injury and, and death. Well, uh, Donald Trump was not responsible for HBO putting uh, an image of George W. Bush on his head on a spike uh, on the Game of Thrones documentary. Uh, Donald Trump was not responsible for the Bernie Sanders supporter who had a hit list of Republicans that he was going to murder at the con Republican congressional baseball game practice, which led to uh, Congressman Steve Scalise being gravely injured along with others, including Capitol Police. You know, Donald Trump was not responsible for uh, Kathy Griffin uh, having a decapitated head of Donald Trump posted on Instagram. So I think we can point to a whole host of instances on both sides of the aisle where there has been uh, senseless political attacks and violence that should not be the norm, uh, should not be the standard, and should not happen in American society. I would push back on Mr. Lockhart saying that no Republican stood up against or vocalized uh, against what happened to Mr. Pelosi. That's just flat out untrue. You had several uh, people that were on uh, news stations on Sunday morning in leadership, Republican leadership, denouncing it. Even President Trump called it a very terrible thing. So what we need to do is just be cognizant of the fact that we have to hold people accountable for the wrong actions that they do, especially as results to violence against anyone. There was a 30 percent increase in the San Francisco area as it stands where the attack took place. But outside of the violence that's growing in this country, the political violence should not be the, the case and should be denounced on both sides of the aisle, whether it's Republican or Democrat. Yeah. So, Tara, I want you to jump in there um, because a lot of people are quick to blame Donald Trump and his, uh, I mean, he had, listen, very fiery rhetoric. I, I remember watching his um, campaign uh, events where he, you know, said, throw the guy out of here. Let's, I'll pay for his legal bills, you know, take him out. And I remember that rhetoric and it was shocking at the time. And now it sort of feels like just normal. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.